I want to welcome you to Dream Chasers Radio with me, your host, Yaya Diamond. What's up, peoples? How you doing? Yo, yo, yo. Today, I have a review. I am so excited about this one review because it is right up my alley, okay? Movie reviews, all right? Movie reviews. So you saw the banner earlier, and let me tell you something. I am so excited about this because they review, I, I mean, just, I'm getting ahead of myself. Let's go ahead and go to the website and you can get us on YouTube, uh, Dream Chasers Radio. And also you follow me on Instagram at the Yaya Diamond. That's T-H-E, the Yaya Diamond. All right. So let's get right into this review because I am so excited about this. Let me go ahead and show you. It's Living for the Cinema and it's reviews by Jeff Gershon. And, uh, and I am telling you, I'm excited. Okay, so you are looking at right now Living for the Cinema Podcast with Jeff Gershon. And I am telling you, I am so excited about this. So right here, you see the podcast. You're going to see everything here, but we're going to back up a little bit and we're going to go to the actual homepage here. Living for the Cinema Movie Reviews by Jeff Gershon. This is Jeff. And he is an enthusiast about movies in every aspect of the way. He drops this podcast every Tuesday and Friday of each week. Let me tell you something. When you're going to go to the movies, especially now, you don't want to be wasting your money or your time. So he's got movies here from the 80s. He's also got Candyman. He's got License to Kill from 89, Candyman from 2021. So it's not just movies that are in this day and age, but also also from the past. If you haven't seen those, um, I suggest you go here and watch and listen to his reviews right here on Living for the Cinema. My one that I was very interested in listening to is going to be The Suicide Squad. So let's take a listen. You are listening to Living for the Cinema with Jeff Gershon. I am a cinema enthusiast of all genres, here to discuss with you one film every episode. The good, the bad, and the ugly of what makes each film unique. And just as a warning, these films might be in theaters now, or they may be from 10, 20, 30 years ago. But regardless, there's a strong possibility that I will be revealing spoilers. I might give away the plot or the ending in this review, so just be warned. We are here to discuss The Suicide Squad. Just came out in 2021 and is directed by James Gunn. This is suicide. Well, that's kind of our thing. Wow. Here's the deal. We fail the mission, you die. If we find out any information you give us is false, you die. If we find out you have personalized license plates, you die. What? No. It stars Idris Elba, Margot Robbie, John Cena, Viola Davis, Joel Kinnaman, Daniela Melchior, and David Deschmelian. The genre would be superhero action comedy. The Suicide Squad, as this one is called, is a dizzying pop spectacle filled with violence, gags, beauty, and even heart. It's so crazy that I wasn't even completely sure how I felt about it after the first viewing, which was on IMAX. While it's certainly a big screen movie with some genuinely eye-popping imagery and just so much coming at you from so many characters, I could appreciate the scale and craft of it, but if I'm being honest, at the end of that first in-theater viewing, I just felt more exhausted than anything else. Now, granted, it was at the end of a long, tiring day. However, I actually found it more enjoyable the second time around, on a much smaller screen and with subtitles. Now, that's not to say the sound mix was bad in the theatrical version either. It just helped to catch more of the jokes and to enjoy some of the more quiet moments. The whole thing just had a better flow for me the second time around. Well, I'm going to say that I am not going to spoil this for you. But you, if you want to know more about his second time around, you're going to have to go to livingforthecinema.com with Jeff Gershon to find out. What do I think about this website? 
Well, it's easy to navigate. That's the biggest thing. So when I'm going here, I know that home is going to be about him living for the cinema, Jeff, the styles and all that stuff. You can also contact him. And he also thanks you for stopping by. He has a blog as well. And so you can look at his blog if you want to read up on anything. And um, he has Wasted Talent, uh, Trailer Moment, MVP, Best Needle Drop, and all the posts are here. So you're not going to have, you know, you're, you're not going to have any, um, any confusion as to what you're looking for when you're going to this website. Very, very well put together. And uh, you can listen to the podcast here or you can go down below. He's on Apple, Spotify, Google Podcasts, Stitcher, Spreaker, Deezer, Pandora, iHeartRadio, Amazon, and I'm sure a lot more. These are probably just the main ones that he's on because these are pretty much standard. So you can listen in your car. You can listen anytime you want. You remember, he's dropping his podcast, as he said, on his homepage every Tuesday and Friday. So there's no problem. You also have another contact page at the end uh, and you also, he also has a Twitter and an Instagram, and you can send him his message. Now, living for the cinema, what do I think about this website? What do I think about? I think the website's excellent. It's easy. It's there. It's easy to navigate. It's self-explanatory, and there's nothing complicated about it. Uh, what do I think about living for the cinema as a podcast? Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Do I love movies? Do you love movies? If you love movies, then you have got to go to Living for the Cinema and check out his reviews. You know, everybody has their opinion about movies. Not everybody likes every movie. We are all going to know that right now. I'm not a horror person. Everybody knows. And if you don't know, I don't do horror. I love action, love, adventure, all that other stuff. I don't really like drama because I don't want to cry. I want to laugh. And I don't like horror because I don't want to scream. I want to laugh. <laughs> so, But it's great to have something like this on the internet that you can go to and actually get someone else's point of view before you spend your money or before you even spend your time going to a movie or watching a movie on TV or whatever the case may be. So livingforthecinema.com is a podcast. Yes, I love it. It's, it's, it's wonderful. It's wonderful. And I have to say that it's two thumbs up for me and um, definitely something that I am going to keep in my bookmarks because actually I'm going to go ahead and bookmark that right now. I'm just going to go ahead and do that. I'm going to bookmark it as one of my, you know, personal bookmarks here, because I want to make sure that I am going there before I go to the movies or before I watch a movie. I want to see what he says, because literally this is going to give me the idea of whether I really want to proceed or not. Not that I probably, if he gives it a bad review, I probably go just to see what he's talking about too. So, but it's great. It's great. I love it. Jeff, thank you so much. It's two thumbs up for living for the cinema.com. And yes, that's all I have to say. I am ready to go to movie theaters now and, and, and see, uh, I haven't really finished. So I'm going to go ahead and finish, um, the review that he has, uh, for, um, what was it? Um, the suicide squad. I'm going to look at that because I want to hear what he said. He said that the first time around, he didn't really like it, but he liked it the second time around on a smaller screen. Let's see. Let's see what we what we got here. I'm very interested. So I got to go um, and get my reviews because I, I want to see. But I'll talk to you guys later. That is my review for living for the cinema.com. Thank you guys so much for bringing that to my attention. And uh, I got a movie to listen to. I, I, I want to, I want to hear the review now. I gotta go. So until next time, guys, don't forget to dare to be different. Bye. Thank you.